Congratulations, you made it through Mercury retrograde last month, and that was something else. And now this month brings its own set of twists and turns and surprises, and I am here to help you through all of it. Hello, I'm Carrie Samuels, your intuitive counselor and happiness coach with your September forecast. This month is a bit of extra everything. It's a lot, it's very amplified. First of all, this whole year, has been an eight universal year and eight always amplifies everything. It makes things bigger and fuller and brings up a lot of emotion. And September 2024 is an eight universal month. So we have this eight month in the eighth year. And so this double eight energy will be like, um, kind of like a primer for everything you've been learning this year about being true to yourself, about listening to yourself, about having courage and confidence to believe in yourself, starting new things, ending things. There's a lot of that that's been happening, right? Well, that's all going to be really illuminated this month and brought to light. You have a lot of decisions to make. First of all, we are in Virgo season till the 22nd and happy birthday, fellow Virgos and Verlibrans. I love this month. It's my favorite month of the year. So let's all celebrate all the time. <laughs> so I really also have a birthday wish in addition to world peace and the preservation of democracy, which are my wishes all the time. I would love to share my messages far and wide. So if you can subscribe to this channel, that will help so much. And like this video, it really helps me bring my messages to more people. So that's part of my birthday wish. And everybody else out there, you just make a wish too, because we have a new moon on September 2nd in Virgo. And new moons are always a time for new intentions and bringing your intention to light. And as the moon grows, so does the light of consciousness grow your intentions. So this Virgo moon is all about how you can share your gifts in the world in a way that is nourishing for you. And Virgo is all about these daily habits, these healthy habits that help you build your strength, your well-being, your inner resources. And Virgo is also the sign of discernment. It's about really taking all the information that you have and digesting it and letting go of what's not nourishing you and really synthesizing and integrating and putting to action what will benefit you. And Virgo is a sign of work and service without servitude. See, that's the difference. If you're an overgiver and you want to help the world, which I know you do, you have to take some time to bring your energy back, to plant yourself in the earth, to ask yourself, what's practical? What can I do? How can I make my life better for myself every day and therefore be better for the world and for all beings? So that is something to bring into your intentions this month, really asking what small habits can I create every day to nourish myself, to nourish my body, my mind, and my spirit. And when you do that, it's those small habits that get cultivated that create all the bounty of the earth, right? If you look at a tree that just starts with a seed, an acorn or whatever, right? Or anything that grows, it's those daily nourishments every day. And so that's the energy to take into this month. And you're going to need that grounding because we are in eclipse season. Eclipses always come in pairs, two weeks apart. And so we have that wonderful intention setting, beautiful, healthy new moon on the second, and then on the 17th or the 18th, depending on where you live in the world, 
we have our first eclipse in many years in Pisces. Pisces is part of the Virgo Pisces axis. They're opposite signs of the zodiac. And they're both about service and your calling and the higher good Pisces, which is what this eclipse is in. It's also a super moon. So everything's amplified. And full moons always amplify your emotions and bring them to light. Pisces is inherently emotional because it's mutable water and it's about letting those emotions flow. And it's also about how we're connected because water is what connects us all. Water and spirit are connected to your emotions. So this Pisces supermoon eclipse is going to be the first in this series. Now, we go back into the Aries Libra eclipses that we've been experiencing for the past year and change. And that's all about relationships. Now that's going to be in October, but now on the 17th or 18th, you have this Pisces super moon, full moon eclipse. And it's also connected to Neptune, also in Pisces in the final degrees of the sign and Neptune is Pisces ruler. And this is all about your dreams and your visions, your visions for yourself, your vision for a better world. And again, this is about how you can use your gifts, the ones that you were born with to share with the world and to share with yourself and your loved ones. How can you express yourself? fully and completely? How can you share your emotions so that they flow? So this moon is going to help you tap into your feelings, your dreams, your shadow even in a very amplified way because eclipses are very high octane. They're like full moons exponential, right? And so we have this super moon. So everything is like really brought to light so that you can share your gifts and express the fullness of who you are and who you were born to be. This is about your calling and Virgo and Pisces are both about your calling. Now your calling has so much to do with gifts that you've accumulated over lifetimes. DNA, ancestral gifts, as well as any specific soul essence that you are meant to bring to the world. So during this full moon and this eclipse season that begins on the 17th and goes all the way for two weeks till October 2nd, till we have our other eclipse, that period is going to be electrified. And because this is an eight universal month in an eight universal year, it brings things even more fully. Eight is the number associated with prosperity and financial abundance. That means everything will be amplified, right? Now, abundance comes to you when you are expressing yourself completely, fully, and unabashedly. Abundance comes to you when you are living your passions, when you are being passionate about yourself, your life, life itself. And that, when you're tuned into that, when you're expressing that is when opportunities abound. And yet, when you're hiding yourself, when you're repressing your emotions, when you're suppressing your gifts because you don't feel safe, because you don't feel like you will be accepted. You will find doors closing for you because the universe and your life is trying to teach you to accept yourself and express yourself. So full moon eclipses tend to bring endings, karmic endings, so that you can have new beginnings. And you may find that you may think you're on one path 
And then all of a sudden, something happens and you have to change course. That's the universe trying to help you get on the path of your destiny. So no matter what happens this month, remember that everything is designed to help you clear away emotions, fears, shadow energy that is keeping you from expressing your gifts, from living in the fullness of your passion. And you will inevitably have things that happen because eclipses always bring surprises and sudden revelations. And you can definitely expect that in this double eight month, especially when Neptune is at the tail end of its journey in Pisces. And Neptune is the sign of illusions and dreams, but you may see like where you've been disillusioned. Like you may see like where you've been not seeing clearly. And when that comes to light and you have revelations, just recognize that we all do that. We all have ideals that keep us on a course and sometimes we see things and sometimes we miss things and that's what this is all about so just recognize that as this month transpires and of course on the 22nd we have the equinox which is when days and night are equal and all over the earth right it's like this beautiful time of balance and the veils are lifted it's a beautiful in between time between heaven and earth where you can see more clearly what the spirit wants so this is a magical time of lifting the veil and seeing beyond what your eyes have been able to witness and really looking into your spirit and your soul it's a numinous energy that we're experiencing this month. And you can really use this to change your life in really magical and important ways. So chapters are ending, chapters are beginning. And with that said, I want to give you your three action steps to help you navigate this very spiritual and psychic energy. Now your first action step is to see the big picture. You're going to have many decisions. Again, Virgo is all about those small decisions, but you're also going to have big decisions to make as things change, as things come to light. And when you're making a decision, you really want to ask yourself, what is the big picture of my life? As I'm making these decisions, is this something just to get me by or is this something to get me to where I really want to go and really make sure that all of the decisions that you're making fit into your big picture fit into the scope of your destiny which brings us to action step number two let go of what's no longer awesome this is about tuning into your passions and you really want to listen to what's lighting you up inside because when this super moon eclipse in Pisces rolls in like a riptide, it's going to pull you out of things that are no longer serving your higher purpose. And you want to do this very actively. And the way to know that is because you feel good. You feel good in your relationships. You feel good about what you're doing. You feel good about the way you're expressing yourself in your livelihood, whatever that means to you. And if you don't find that, be creative, do things that are fun, enjoyable, creative, spiritual, and that will help you find your way. And your third action step, this may be the most important is to trust the higher process. You were born with a destiny. You know what you came here to do, even if you think you forgot it. And when these things are changing and happening and when you're in this in-between period where you're letting go of something and going towards you don't even know what, it can feel really scary. Trust that this is all for your higher good and that as you listen to yourself, as you listen to your heart, your passions, 
your joy, your emotions, what makes your body feel electric, as you listen to that, it will always take you toward your destiny. I guarantee you were born for a purpose and a reason. I actually have some things that can help you. I have a free guided meditation with your higher self to envision your future, to receive insight and downloads from your higher self so you can access that free meditation using the link below in the description. And also this month's Soul Salon, your soul's calling will help you tap into your spiritual gifts and really align yourself with your destiny. I'll leave the link to that in the description below as well. I hope that I've helped you have a spectacular September. And again, if you would like to subscribe to this channel, I have so much more to share with you. And my podcast launches on September 10th, so you'll be notified about that. So make sure to hit the bell below. And that also helps me share my message of love far and wide. So please remember to subscribe and like this video and leave a comment and let me know, let us all know how you're navigating these incredible changes and the risks that you're taking. I love you so much and I wish you a super spectacular September and beyond. Lots of love. Bye for now.